Hello everybody, my name is Maria, also known as Ste, and today uh, I'm recording my first video where I'll be talking to you guys. Usually I do music related videos uh, and I've just recently started recording vlogs as well. Uh, but today's going to be a bit different because I'm going to be talking about something that affects a lot of people in this world and um, especially coming from a perspective of a singer, uh, this I feel like will help a lot of singers. This is my first video so bear with me because I might be a bit nervous and I may, I may stumble like I just did. Um, <laughs> the topic that I'll be talking about today is acid reflux. Uh, this affects many people all over the world and um, when it affects you as a singer it's terrifying because it can change your voice and um, alter your skills and you might not be able to go back to the way your voice used to be. Flash news, I suffer from this. Uh, this all started, I'm gonna just start from the beginning. This all started um, when I was invited to play at a pub, uh, to sing at a pub in London. And um, on the day of the gig, it was super weird because I never had experienced this. Um, on the day of the gig, I was lying down and I, I had just drank a cup of ginger tea. Yeah, which is super good for your voice, right? When I lay on my side, I started feeling this burning sensation uh, on my esophagus um, and uh, consequently on my mouth. It came to my mouth and I was like, what is this? like? I felt so bad and um, I felt like after that I couldn't sing properly, you know? So but by God's grace, I did the gig, it went well, everybody was happy, uh, but you know, people, the audience don't necessarily know you're struggling with these kind of things and even when they know, they don't really understand, especially when they're not singers themselves. So yeah, this was really hard to deal with on that day. But I simply thought it was gonna be a one day thing, you know? So that happened on that day, whatever. We'll keep going and things are gonna go back to normal. But guess what, they didn't. So after that, um, I joined a choir called Unchorus. You should check them out, they're awesome. And the Christmas time came and that's the best time for choirs, obviously. Uh, so we were hired for a bunch of gigs and I was really struggling. Like by that time I, I had done my research and I knew what I had, sort of. Because one of the girls in the choir, she also had um, acid reflux and like the way she was talking about it, like I could see that I had the same problem, you know? So she really helped me without knowing. <laughs> uh, I asked her also for advice. She told me what worked for her, uh, but it didn't work for me. I'll tell you about that later. Um, anyways, there was this one time where I had to sing All I Want For Christmas uh, by Mariah Carey again. Uh, and like, you know that high note that everybody is expecting you to hit? Literally the day before the gig, I could not hit that note. Like nothing would come out just air so i was like literally terrified but god came through again and on the day of the gig i did it um but basically this is just to give you a summary of what happened to my voice and how i was struggling and how hard it is to deal with such thing because it, it doesn't just affect your voice it affects your overall health and um that was very hard to deal with so um what i'm here to talk about uh, after giving you guys the summary is how I healed myself from this problem. So what did I do that actually helped me heal my body? Uh, my stomach, my bowel, whatever area of my body was affected, including my voice as well. So first of all, I went to the doctor and I want to disclose this, I'm not a doctor. So if you have this problem, do go to the doctor. I went pr probably about four to five times to the doctor with the same thing. Uh, none of them were able to help me because the reason for acid reflux is not really known why we have it, you know? Uh, it could be stress-related, food-related, it's a bunch of different reasons. Uh, so they gave me medication, yeah? And that medication helped me for a while, 
uh, about maybe five days, then what, what it did is that it actually made it worse. Uh, so my, my stomach started producing more acid, which is super weird because those medications are meant to reduce the acid that your stomach is producing. So I thought, okay, this is gonna work. My hopes were, were up and then it didn't work. I even went for an endoscopy and they didn't find anything irregular in my stomach. So I was just like, what is going on? So after the medication, I started doing my own research because doctors weren't able to help me and I'm sure they did try, uh, but it just didn't work out. Uh, so I stumbled upon this book, which is called The Acid <laughs> which is called the Acid Watcher Diet, a 28-day reflux prevent, a 28 day reflux prevention and healing program. And it's really Maria? And it's by Dr. Jonathan Aviv or Aviv. I don't know. I'm not sure how to read this. Uh, but yeah, so it's really informative. It gives you like diet plans and um the ph's of the food ph's well the ph of each food um and again just like the medication i tried it for about 15 days and on the third week uh everything went back to the same spot because because you know i don't really know why <laughs> but um uh, it just didn't work just like the medication and i just got so frustrated you know because like i'm tr i was trying so hard and like help asking god for help and he wasn't really responding at that time for some reason which i haven't understood yet but maybe the reason is this video and um you know being able to help other people with the same problem so one day I stumbled upon Dr. Sebi, which is this uh, doctor from Honduras. And he basically only heals people with natural stuff, no medication, yeah? So healing. Healing in my case was a three-step process. So first research, which I already spoke about. Second was fasting. Fasting is a very challenging topic, right? Uh, so... I did a fasting based on Dr. Sebi's diet uh, and detox. So this um, fasting was based on just eating fruits. So I did seven days and I would eat fruits in the morning. And then uh, around 6 p.m. I would eat a bunch of other fruits. Um, just be careful that your fruits are as organic as possible because one time I ate a watermelon without seeds and I felt like my stomach was getting messed up again. So be careful with the fruits you buy. So besides being a detox and, you know, it helped my body clear out, I was also a spiritual experience because, you know, this was my, my actual first time fasting. So God really showed his strength, you know, because... I need to eat, you know, and I couldn't, I was not really relying on myself. I was relying on God. So third step, what should you eat? So there's actually seven categories uh, in Dr. Sabi's diet, which are uh, vegetables, fruits, herbal teas, grains. What? Grains? That's in grain. One, two, three, four, five, six. What is the seventh one? So the seven categories are vegetables, fruits, herbal teas, seeds, nuts and grains, oils, and spices and seasonings. So this whole alkaline acid thing is very complicated because, for example, in that book that I just showed you, it said that, you know, garlic is an acid food, but Dr. Sabi says it's not an acid food and it's safe to eat. And surprisingly it is safe to eat for me but really see how your body responds you know because everybody's different and you're gonna have different reactions what i love most about this diet is that it actually includes spices and seasonings because in the other book and the other diet diets that i researched it didn't really have anything but salt you know sea salt and i'm like that's boring and i don't like my food with just sea salt so 
This is something that is so exciting because, you know, I like food with taste. Mm. So on this list, you have all the foods that are alkaline. And if you haven't noticed, this is a vegan diet. So if you're not vegan or vegetarian, there are other options, but this is what I believe it's the best. But I have seen other videos, actually not other videos, one video, which uh, the girl ate chicken and it was fine. I'm going to link all this information down below. Don't worry. I'm not going to reveal all the foods in this video because it's a huge list, but I will link the video which informed me about these things down below because you do have to pay for Dr. Sebi stuff, obviously. But this girl, uh, she showed everybody what he had on the book, which was very helpful. So I will help you in that way like she helped me to. After you've seen the list of the foods, you can start making your own recipes. Uh, I will link also a video of this vegan girl from London and she does alkaline food as well. So that's a good idea for you. And here now on the screen, you have some of the pictures of the meals. Um, you might notice that the foods are very similar, but it's because in the beginning, I believe that it's better to just eat the same thing. So your body, you know, my dog is crying. Boo! Palette, please. I do believe it's better to just eat the same meal so your body gets used to that. Uh, and then you can start vary a little bit more. So yeah, these are just three steps that I use to heal myself. But um, I'm just gonna say one last thing. If you're a singer, really take this time to work on your technique because all the videos that I've posted on my YouTube channel uh, was while I was struggling with this problem. It's gonna help you not only not harming your voice, as well as it when you come out of all of this, you'll have a better prepared instrument. So yeah, that is all. And I hope, I really hope this video helps you. Um, if you're struggling with this, if you know somebody that's struggling with this, send them this video, send them all the references that I'm gonna post down below because this is a real problem and it affects you deeply. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for bearing with me because this is my first video. It might be a bit confusing, but I hope I'll do better next time. <laughs> Please subscribe to the channel and also like the video if that was the case. I pray that God blesses you and that you have a great day. See you next time.